Okay, so let's uh, create a guitar intro for this track. I think it could probably benefit from that. Um, we're going to go ahead and create a MIDI track in our instrument section here. Let's go ahead and color code it. And rename it to Intro Guitar. Let's grab our chords here. And this is why I like to say uh, when you have the chord structure figured out for your track, a lot of the work is really done for you because this is the blueprint of your track basically. For instance, like this will be your bass line and then this will be your like top layer melody right here. You could just chop this up and make it different timings. But if it follows these notes, that's your top layer melody right there. And that's kind of what we do with this track. We just kind of copied or followed the top layering of these notes and that's what how we came up with our, our top layer melody. Um, so with the guitar, we're going to treat it the same way here. We're going to use the same technique we do for making an ARP, uh, except we're just going to use a guitar now instead of a synth. So let's grab a MIDI effect, an ARP. Let's put it on here. And then let's grab an instrument. Uh, for guitars, Contact is really good. They have a lot of really good guitars. Uh, we want to be really quick here. Let's grab Nexus 3. Let's see what we can do with the guitar section here. Uh, Hollywood three guitars. Let's see what we get here. And then we are going to solo it. No, I don't really want that. Okay, so let's go ahead and just copy the same chord over and over just to do the intro to see if we get like a nice little arp. too dry for me I want to see if we... that's a little better Okay, we're going to put this real low in the mix here. Try the rate uh, up. Let's throw LFO tool on you because we're going to need to have you sidechain as well. <laughs> <laughs> 